Uh, Truma and Mas there, part number three. In the first uh, shear in the series, we spoke about whether Truma and Mas said today is from the Torah or not. Uh, according to many opinions, it is not from the Torah, not because one of the Mignash, but because we don't have Rove Jews here. Shachan and Rama actually bring down both opinions about the fact that you should assume it is rabbinic today. Of course, whether it's rabbinic or from the Torah, it doesn't matter. Allah is Allah. We have to follow it. But in certain cases, if it's a suffix and doubt, there might be more room for leniencies once it's rabbinic. In the second Shi'or, we talked about which fruits and vegetables and grains are hayah from the Torah and from the rabbis. In the third Shi'or, we'll just talk about tevel. Tevel, tav, lo. It is not good. The food is not proper. If it is not tied yet, it's called tevel, and it is a very, very serious prohibition. So serious that the Rambam in Hilchot Machlot Asrod Perik Yud, he talks about different prohibi- prohibited foods, and he writes in the book of Kedusha, Machlot Asrod Perik Yud, he writes that one who eats tevel, untied foods, is liable min ha-Torah. For what? For mita from God. Death from God. This is very, very serious. So, think about this compared to a piece of pig. First, needs a piece of pig, you get lashes. Uh, bugs, it's a very serious prohibition to eat bugs. That's why we have so many stringencies. We have a, shirim, a series of shirim on bugs as well in food. And it's so serious that you eat one tiny bug, you might be liable to several sets of mako lashes. But over here, it's true that it has to be a kazayit atevel, at least an olive worth, in order to get a punishment. The punishment is mita from God. Very, very serious halacha. So it's true that maybe today is not from the Torah, but just understand that one eats biblical tevel, one's liable from the Torah. Very serious violation. So nowadays, Baruch Hashem, the Rabbanut, the Makolot, it's all taken care of pretty much. You always have to make sure that every supermarket shop that you go to has a proper tuda from the local Rabbanut or from Avrat, whoever it is, and that it's up to date. Because otherwise there's a real fear that this fruit, these vegetables, came to this market and were not tied properly without a proper hashkacha. There's nothing to talk about. There's no way a person can eat that unless he himself takes upon himself to do Truman Maser. He has to know what he's doing. So therefore, it is crucial to understand that we talk about an Issa from the Torah when we have all the conditions and that it's a very serious Issa Doraita that it can be high up Mitas, we have to take this halacha very, very seriously and understand all the details of the halachas and know how to apply it. Shalom.